Okay, so in this video, I wanted to talk about photos. Now, this is probably one of the most important things that you could be doing. And depending on the business categories that you picked, you may have a couple different categories in here that show up, um, especially if you're offering things like products. If you're someone that offers like, you know, actually sells products, you may see a category in here such as like products and things that you actually sell. Now, because this is a service-based business, you're really not gonna get a whole lot. By default, everyone's gonna have identity photos which is basically gonna be a profile logo that displays on Google My Business, a logo for your company, which in a lot of cases I usually use the same thing, and then a cover photo which is displayed on the Google Plus page, which is you know kind of the social aspect of the business. And you have interior photos, which would be like you know photos inside the office. Here you can see this is someone sitting down at an office at a desk. Um, didn't really do a good job with the logo here, but I think that's all I had to work with. And then exterior photos, I would say usually this should be exterior photos of the outside of the building. Um, and at minimum, you're gonna want at least three photos in all these categories, so that's why I've got about three minimum. Uh, exterior photos, really it should be something like uh, maybe a sign on the outside of your building or just a picture of your office location. Um, because I didn't have anything like that with this particular company, we decided to just put in some photos of their trucks and things like that. Uh, Google's really not going to know the difference. Um, I would just say more than anything, make sure you do put some photos in here. You, you know, try to make it as accurate as you can, but um, at the same time, you know, you don't want to be putting like cartoons or weird things in here. So uh, the next biggest category I would say is photos at work. Um, this could be the area where you're probably going to have most of your photos. And you can see here that this is all stuff that, you know, people are doing on doing um, as actual work. You know, you can see that this is an electrician. Um, these are photos of like work that they're doing on outlets and things like that. And then the last category is team photos. So this would be like photos of people in your office, employees, owner, whoever you want to put in there. And you can see that's pretty much what we've done here. We have, uh, it almost looks like a combination of people in the office and people actually working. So really either work. Um, the next thing I want to show you is a really important piece. And a lot of people are not aware of this. They just, you know, if I, if I, a lot of people would go in here, add a bunch of photos and think, oh, well, I'm done. That's all I need to do. But there's actually a lot more that we can do. So let's just take, um, we'll take this photo of an outlet as an example. This is going to blow up into a bigger image. And you're going to have some stuff up here so you could like share it, edit it, tag people. Um, you have slideshows and some other actions like you could add it to different albums, enhance the photos. There's a couple different editing things you could zoom in. Um, if you want to delete photos, this is where you do it. You have a little trash can there. You can crop photos. So there's some minor editing tools in here. I figured I'd at least mention that. Uh, let me go back here. Well, it doesn't really matter. Um, any photo will work. This is a looks like a burned outlet. So that's obviously some work they're working on. Um, basically, over on the top right here, you'll see photo details. And if you click on that, it's going to give you the option to add a location. And this one actually doesn't have it. So I'm gonna go ahead and do this. You can hit add a location. And I don't want Google to know where I am because they think you know it's local to me. It's not a big deal. So I'm just gonna throw it in their local area. This is where their office is located. Um, it's really up to you. You don't have to get super specific. You could put in an actual address. But here I can do drop a place mark you can see now I've got the place mark and then I can hit save. And now what this is going to do is it's actually going to add the longitude and latitude here. You know, you can see now it's added this to the photo. It's added the location details. So what I generally tell everyone that's like a contractor based business, people that travel all around different areas, when they send me their photos, tell me a little bit about what the photo is. So that way when I upload it, um, you know, this one, I think it must've already been in the profile. I didn't upload this one. Um, usually I'll rename this so I would probably rename this to something like burned out you know socket and that kind of gives it a keyword I'm basically giving Google some information about what the actual file is or what the picture is and then I'm also putting in a location so Google can read this data they can see that this photo was you know taken in Windsor now and if we're starting to do this in different areas we could tag different cities all around where this company is actually located and now Google knows, okay, wow, look, look at all these cities that they're doing work in. And that's gonna help boost your actual visibility in the local map pack. So this is actually a really important step. I've seen that in some cases I've gone and uploaded and um, tagged a bunch of photos with different cities and then uploaded them into a profile. 
and I've seen the visibility of the profile go up substantially. Um, I can't say, you know, it's not a, um, I really don't want to throw it out there as like a make or break thing. Like if you don't do this, it's not going to be the end of the world in terms of actually doing well with your Google profile, but it's definitely going to help. I mean, we're just giving Google more data that they can use to figure out where you do business and giving them keywords about the types of services you offer. So in the next video, I'm going to show you a tool that you can actually use to bulk um, geo target the, the photos very, very easily for free. Instead of going into each photo one at a time and hitting add, you know, I'd have to go in and manually add each one add, I'd have to keep going and it would take a really long time to do that. So I'm going to show you a way to do it a lot faster.